It's okay to be masculine. It's okay to be feminine. It's okay to be both. You just have to know when to be what. Okay, so if you're if you're trying to get a high value man that makes a lot of money and that's very masculine, uh, the probability of you getting a guy like that by you acting masculine is going to be very low. Do not act masculine if you want to attract masculine male. You know, there's a there's a law in science that um, I forgot what it was called, but it's every action has a has an opposite and equal reaction. Okay. So if you, um, if you put out, if you're a man and you put out very masculine energy, you're going to attract very feminine energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand that. And if you're a female and you put out very feminine energy, you're going to attract very masculine energy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's like the laws of physics. It's, well, not really physics, but, you know, laws it's of just, sociology. It's just right? like the universe. It, it's like, for example, alpha men, they would get like a beta women, like a girl who is submissive, etc., like all that bullshit. In reverse, a very alpha woman who makes like all this money, has like authority, knows how to talk, will want a guy that's kind of like a, a, a dog that would just a like beta. fall. Yeah, a beta. It's because it's, it's the law of equilibrium, okay? So... It's just like it's just like the concept of when they say, "Tell me who your friends are, and I'll tell you who you are." Yeah. So when it comes to like frequencies and vibrations, somebody who's at a higher vibration interacting with somebody at a lower vibration, and with enough interaction, they will both come into harmony, equilibrium. They will come into equilibrium. Yeah. So the, the the higher frequency person will have to lower their frequency in order to bring the frequency of this other person up. Okay. Well, what your TLDR is is um, opposites attract, right? Opposites <laughs> attract. So if you it, you have to understand that that you're dealing with opposite energies. So it, like like I said, if you're a female and you're acting masculine, you're most likely going to equilibrate with a feminine male, with a with a more feminine male or AKA beta male. Okay. So girls, you need to understand that if you're trying to attract a high value man. You have to be way more feminine because that's just what they're looking for. Facts, bro. Facts. Facts. I mean, you, 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 you should know this by now. You know, that boss bitch mentality is not going to get you anywhere in the long term. But you know there's going to be pushback, right? There's going to be pushback where um, girls are going to be like, well, why should I rely on a guy? But of course. that's just pretty much the answer right there. And right? that's a masculine attitude. Yeah. I, and there's nothing wrong with like being independent. I really respect that. And oh, yeah. our, our channel is all about equality, right? It's more about preferences. Like at, to a certain degree, you have to understand if you're a woman and you're single and you're like, shit, I'm really like lonely. Then you got to start wondering, is it my attitude? Is it all this like exactly. influenced by like all this media and like pop culture, all this bullshit. So you got to start thinking about these things because I mean, like what are you putting your, your out your time? There? Your time is very valuable to a certain degree you might be like 40 and you, by the time you know it, you're going to be 40, right? Exactly. And then you might not have be able to have kids because of that. Yep. Because you had this boss bitch attitude that went on from like your youth days all the way till you were 40 and now you can't like, um, what is it, ovulate? Is that the word? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think that's very important to, to consider because yeah, it is your life. You can decide how you want to live your fucking life. I'm not telling you how to live your life, but honestly, to a certain degree, if you are wondering... What is going on? How come I'm still single? How come I can't find a decent guy? Well, because you might be attracting guys that are actually not what you want. It's because you might be getting guys based on being a boss bitch, but you actually don't want beta guys. Yeah. You want a guy who's masculine, who could hold the authority, who could um, be like the leader of the, the relationship. And so you might be with beta guys thinking that this is the type of guy you want, but it's actually fucking not. But... um. It's just like this. If you go, if you go, imagine interacting with somebody who always had a confrontational attitude. I mean, every person that that person interacts with is not going to want to hang around them anymore. But, but here, let me be devil's advocate. But okay. like a, a girl would be like, well, I wouldn't want to hang out around with like a guy who's always co confrontational too, right? Because masculine people or masculine um, men specifically, they could be confrontational as well. Yeah, they so could. So what would you say about that? But but they will be confrontational to anything or anybody that they consider a threat. So if you're a female and you're acting like a male, 
sooner or later. Just like just like you see in these videos where where girls get up in guys' faces and start talking shit, and then they end up hitting the guy. The guy, as a natural reaction, is gonna hit back because yeah, we're just I wired. Agree. You know, unless he has unless he has total control over his actions. You know. Uh, he's he's gonna want to hit back because that's just the natural reaction when we're met with danger we either we fight or flight you know yeah for sure so just as a word of advice to females do not have that confrontational attitude it's, it's a masculine trait and you're gonna be met with a confrontational attitude I I think that's another good question um the question.